Greetings, space engineers. This is Captain Rick Havoc with the Terran Republic Navy, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am coming to you from the uh, research and development station of the Terran Republic Shipyard to bring you a combat test and review of the ship you see before us. This is the Excelsior class cruiser light by physics and one of the things you should notice here um, I want to call your attention to is the fact that uh, the last ship I reviewed the D-37 Timberwolf destroyer had was armed with all light weapons uh, rocket turrets, rocket launchers, and Gatling turrets. This ship is armed entirely with heavy weaponry. Its primary armament is artillery turrets and, and rail guns. And it has many rail guns. And although it seems to be set up to be capable of landing on a planet, there's no ground level access down here. As a matter of fact, there is only a very limited amount of access inside the ship. Basically, the in the entire interior of the ship consists of two compartments in the entrance to get down to them, and that's it. This here, uh, one of the other things, I, I added a few things to the ship for this, uh, te for this test. One is I added this nu mis nuclear missile launcher down here to launch, a nu launch nukes to finish off the adversary. That I'll be put, pitting the ship, ship up against. And because the ship was only equipped with a single Gatling turret for point defense, I felt like I needed to add some. So I added some of these uh, MG50 Atlas point defense turrets to it. But other than that, this ship is... is the you see, the ship you see is the ship physics design and it's really not one of my favorite designs because it really to me it seems like this what this ship is optimized for is one-on-one -on -one PvP player versus player especially with all the rail guns so although it has refiners and assemblers Another thing I can't find anywhere on the ship is an access point to the conveyor system. So you can all well, let's see what's this? No, that I don't think that's one. No, that's the uh, that's the connector on the back. All right. So. Although this ship has that uh, connector right there, it's so close to the only door in and out of the ship that you could only put a small ship there and still be able to uh, use the uh, entry. And another thing about another thing that ain't so good about this ship is the fact that uh, you have to close the doors behind you after you open them and there's no there's no place to put a programmable block to uh, to use a script for uh, your on uh, and as you can see also just see I had to crouch to get through this door I 
and so this is uh, one of the two compartments that's accessible by by the crew it's got a survival kit here and a little uh, galley over there and a couple of beds but no no toilet facilities and this is how you get down to the control station and this is the other compartment accessible to the crew or the crew person and it's got a couple of helms that have no have nothing set up on their toolbars and this uh, uh, some armory lockers got a I'm not sure I think that's a jump drive I'm looking at through through the back there through that grate in the middle and uh, we've got the control seat but uh, that's pretty much it for the tour of the ship outside and inside um, so I will be back shortly when I have the ship out on the firing range and have an adversary to test it against I will and let me take this opportunity to remind you that if you are enjoying this content would like to see more of it Please remember to smash those buttons down below, the like and the subscribe and the notification bell so you'll know when I release new content. And I will be back soon. Until then, I'll see you later. Greetings again, Space Engineers. Captain Rick Havoc back with you to continue the combat test and evaluation of this ship so let's turn the weapons on that's it only four weapons need to be switched on here Let's see, two, there. Didn't quite get everything set up on the uh, toolbars that I needed, so that takes care of that. And one thing's when when a ship has lots of gyros, like this one and also has axial weapons that you need to aim aim the ship to aim the weapons you need to decrease the power of the gyros for uh, fine aiming And this ship really is quite maneuverable. Even with the gyros turned down. It's still does, does this 
okay. And its uh, turning ability is also really good, as well as side-to-side uh, -side and up and down thrust. This shift maneuvers well in all planes.
why my adversary is not firing even any rockets at me. He's well equipped to do so, but he's not shooting. <laughs> Got him burning. It's time to shoot some nukes at him. Don't see anything left of him. Yep, nothing left. So that's so much for our adversary. Crash a ship on the planet now. Now it looks like I'm going to have to do a little adjustment on the time of day here so I can see where I'm going to hit
Hi. Down we go.
on, get out of the ship. Prefer to get out soon enough that I'm not right at ground zero when it hits. There's a few pieces left after it. And so that is the um, Excelsior Class Cruiser Light by Physics. And let me take this opportunity once again to remind you that if you are enjoying this content and would like to see more of it, please remember to smash those buttons down below. The like and the subscribe and the notification bell. And uh, overall, I my review of this ship is that it's not really suitable for survival mode play because uh, because it's got an imbalance in its weapons it's got almost no interior space and no way to access anything from the ground from the ground level and not even an access to get into the conveyor system so you can actually use use the assemblers and refinery on the ship to, to build anything with. So I don't think this is a good ship for survival mode. But I do think it probably would be an excellent ship for one-on-one -on -one player versus player. And with that, I want to wish you all a good day.